Okay, so this is a mud puppy, and we're going to go through the features of it for the dissection test. Um, external anatomy, he's covered in skin. This is the tail, the head. On the head, you can see the eyes covered with that nictating membrane. And then here are the external gills. Okay, And it has four small appendages. And then on the ventral side, here's the cloaca. And then here is the uh, pharyngeal slit up here. It goes back behind the gills. And that's the pharyngeal slit. Okay. That's the highlights of the external anatomy. For the internal anatomy, okay. we have a female on this side and we have a male on this side. The big difference is you can see the eggs in the female. And in the male, there are testes down here. See those testes? Okay, one on each side. The dark structure across the top is a liver. And then attached to the liver, you have the gallbladder. Looks kind of like a water balloon. And they each have... each have the gallbladder. Okay. Then underneath the gallbladder you have the stomach and the stomach leads to the duodenum and then the duodenum to the intestines and the intestines eventually go out the cloaca. Also up here next to the stomach is the spleen. That's this dark structure here. This is the spleen. Okay which also aids in digestion. And then underneath the stomach and the spleen are the two thin, almost completely transparent lungs. Okay, so those are the lungs down there. Remember, they're not very functional in these guys, so that's why they're so thin. And then below all the eggs, you've got this frilly kidney. The kidneys are at the back body wall. And then way up in the neck, the only thing I think we haven't covered yet, this is the heart, okay? Remember, it's a three-chambered heart. It mixes the blood so that um, after it goes to the gills, it comes back to the heart and is mixed before it travels to the body. Okay. And I think that takes care of mud puppy anatomy.